I'm Sam. And I'm Michael. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to give you guys a full RV tour. We've been living here for about a month now. So if you want to know what RV life is really like, stick around because we're going to show you every detail inside and out. All right, guys, we're going to start outside with the name of the RV. It is a 2024 Forest River Cruise Light Salem 24 View. It is 30 feet long, it weighs about 6,600 pounds, and has a payload capacity of 1,100 pounds. We have an electric power jack, which makes hitching RV a cinch. Came with two 20-gallon pain tanks. Went ahead and upgraded for the winter to a 100-pound tank, so we don't have to fill it up as often. What you can see up here is a tongue hitch lock. I highly believe in these, and anyone with an RV, get a hitch lock. Starting down the left side of the RV, as you can see, we have a small door here for our pass-through storage. It's got a little bit larger of a door on the other side. Below that is our power stabilizer jacks, which is great because we don't have to crank those either. It's just a fl simple flip of a switch. And back here is our water connections. As you can see, is a black tank flush. And then next to that is our fresh water connection. Highly recommend getting a 90 degree elbow just so you don't have put so much pressure on the outside of this connection right here. And below that, as you can see, we've also opted to do, to do a fresh water filter. And the hose we're using is a Camco heated water hose. I highly recommend that if you're doing any type of winter RVing like we are. Below the fresh water connection, as you can see, is our sewer hookup. Right here, we have the gray water tank, which is for the shower and the sink. On the other side is the black water for the toilet. And then right here, I went ahead and added an extra valve just in case, leading out to a clear 90 degree elbow and about 25 feet of sewer hose. I always recommend keeping at least 30 feet handy just because you never know what type of camping situation you're going to be in and how much sewer hose you're really going to need, as well as a sidewinder, which really helps with the gravity and, and the flow of everything coming out of the RV. All right, and back here, as you can see, is our slide out. Uh, a couple of additions I would recommend if you have a slide out are these steel supports down here, as well as just a little bit of PVC uh, insulation for the winter time. All right, back here for surge protectors, I opted to go with the Hughes Power Watchdog. It's one of the best surge protectors you can buy right now on the market. It has Bluetooth connectivity, so you can monitor what kind of power you're using from your phone. Also, still a big believer in security. I recommend adding a lock whenever you're hooked up. I want to touch on the water connection and how important it is to have a water pressure regulator. You never know what type of water pressure you're going to have in an RV park. So getting a pressure regulator is super, super important. A couple of things we also wanted to add to our RV is a Furion backup camera, which is great for going down the highway as well as getting in and out of RV parking spaces. Um, here is the mounting bracket for our tote tank, which we don't have right now, but we will be using whenever we do go out on the road. All right, lastly, back here, we wanted to add a little personality to the RV, so we bought this spare tire cover and we thought it looked great. Inside of the RV, as you can see, we have our outside kitchenette. We lift this up right here. You can see we have a little surface up here. We've got a cooking griddle. And then right here is our fully stocked outdoor fridge. A couple of additions I wanted to point out on this side while we're here. As you can see, we put these mesh screens up so no insects get inside our exhaust ports. Down here for chocks, we have regular chocks as well as our X chocks so that, that the RV doesn't go anywhere. And one of my favorite additions that we added to the RV was the RV lock. It's a keyless entry with a keypad on it and we love it. All right, wrapping up the outside, as you can see, it has an 18-foot awning, which we don't have out right now. Underneath that is a light bar. Down here is a much larger door for our pass-through storage. And then looking down, you can see all of the beautiful bay windows. If you guys have any specific questions about the RV, please let me know in the comments. I could talk specs on this thing all day long. But without further ado, I'm going to have Sam show you guys what's inside the RV. So right off the front door, you are in our living room. One of the things we loved about this RV was all of this open bright light that comes through these windows. It really gives it a nice bright and airy feel in here. This is one of the main spots where we love to hang out and one of the spots that the cats love to hang out as well. One of the features we love about this RV is the jackknife sofa that turns into a bed. Michael's gonna show you that right now. Under the jackknife sofa is where we keep extra clothes. It has been really nice to have extra storage there that we use for all of our winter wear and just generally all of our extra clothing. 
And then we also purchased an ottoman and that has become a great place to put all of our DVDs and we use it all the time. Right as you step out of the living room, we enter right into our kitchen. So we have a full functioning kitchen. We do have a microwave, a three stovetop burner, and an oven down below. We have food storage in here. All our utensils are in this back quadrant right over here. We mostly use from over here all of our snacks, oils, spices. If you guys are curious about any of the features in the kitchen, um, I would love to go more in depth in a future video, but today I'm just showing you guys the main items. So one of the features that I love about this kitchen is this cute little sink. I really feel like it is a good size for the size of the kitchen. So one of the features that we loved about this RV that we didn't find in many other RVs was the amount of counter space that we have. So in addition to the huge windows that we fell in love with, we loved all of this counter space because square footage is huge while you're living in an RV. Speaking of counter space, these are the three appliances that never leave our counters. We use them every single day. The first one being our ice machine. If you are living in an RV, this is an essential staple item. We use it all the time. The second thing that you absolutely need is filtered water, and I highly recommend the zero water filtration system. It is a great way to make sure you're getting the best quality water, especially living in an RV. This is my own personal favorite appliance. It's my Nespresso machine, because I love having iced coffees every single morning, and so that pairs really well with all of the ice for the iced coffee. So these three we use every single day. We actually have a pretty decent sized fridge and freezer. I would say this is close to a residential fridge. We've had no problem fitting everything in that we would get on a normal grocery run, so we haven't felt like we are downsizing by any means. You exit the kitchen, right on the other side is my office. This is my favorite part of the RV. If you guys don't know, I work from home, so having a work from home space was exactly what I wanted in an RV. This is our bathroom. It came with two mirrors that have storage behind it. We also added a towel rack for all of our towels. And yeah, it's super easy to still get ready in the morning and there's plenty of storage, which we love. Also, Michael added the shoe rack, which has been amazing because shoes take up a lot of space and having the storage here in the hallway was perfect for us. While we are in the bedroom, I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys a couple features. One being we actually have a king size bed. This is king size for an RV, so it is a little smaller than a residential, but it has been a perfect size for the both of us. Uh, Michael is 6'4", so he fits perfectly in this bed and it actually goes pretty far back. So we do get space back here. Some additions that we made to the bedroom is a smart TV. We added some curtains and that has really helped make this room more of a blackout room. So that's been really nice for sleeping so we don't have all that extra light coming in. Things that you can't see that we updated it was Michael actually went through right behind the bed and made sure that there were no openings so we don't get any wind or any bugs coming in. So that was pretty cool of him to do, thank you. One more thing you guys have to know before we leave the master bedroom is that one of the reasons this mattress feels so good is because we added a topper. The mattress that comes with the RV is really thin and I promise you it's not comfortable. So I highly recommend you guys spend the cash and get a topper. I will leave a link for the one that we used. We can't use anything else. All right, wrapping up the tour, one of my favorite parts of the RV is the entertainment center. Down here is an actual functional fireplace. This actually puts out about 1500 watts of heat in the wintertime. And above that is our Furion sound bar. And then above that, we went ahead and added in a 40 inch smart TV for all of our streaming and movies. All right, and behind the entertainment center, we have a little secret compartment area here. This is actually my office space where I do some work from home and I share this area with our cats. We have both of their litter boxes back here. We have some extra bonus storage space that Samantha and I utilize over here as well as these five compartments over here. So come on in, let's take a look at it.
Coming out of our bonus room, I just wanted to touch base on the control panel for the RV. Starting down here is the thermostat for the hot water heater to turn up and down the temperature of the water. Next to that, we have the main switch for all of the lighting in the RV. Above that, we have switches that control the 18 foot awning outside, as well as the slide out going in and out. Above that, we have lights for the exterior, as well as some of the mood lighting in the interior of the RV. And above that are the gauges for all of our tanks. One of the features we loved about the 24 view being a 50 amp service was the second air conditioner, which has been fantastic for the summertime. Now that we've kind of come towards the end of the tour, we wanted to really highlight a couple features that made the 24 view stand out to us the most. My favorite feature was definitely the fact that we can have limitless hot water. I love taking long showers and I have felt that this, I did not have to sacrifice the length of my showers to live in an RV. That's definitely my number one feature. How about you? For me, it's the, the towability. I didn't have to trade in my pickup to get a big, you know, super duty or anything like that. This trailer is still light enough that you can tow it with a regular size pickup truck. It's coming in at 6,600 pounds and it makes it really versatile. Also, we will let you guys in on how much this RV cost. We got it this year in 2024 in Waco, Texas. And at the time of purchase, this was $34,000. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching our full tour of our RV. I know we had a great time making this video and it has been highly requested. So if you guys actually have any questions or anything, drop them down below in the comments. We'd love to read your guys' feedback. If there wasn't something we mentioned or if something you're curious about, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye.